Well, I just got here to the Medicine Bows, the snowy range, and uh, it looks beautiful, that's for sure. Uh, probably a little over ambitious climb plans, but uh, I'll just have to see, see how it looks when I get there. Thought I'd give you a quick look at Mirror Lake. It is beautiful. The flowers are just starting to get a little tired and ready to settle in for winter. We're going to go on up there and check out the diamond that featured between the trees, the tallest one. Wish me luck. I opted to head straight out of the parking lot and uh, across this talus and I think it was a good call. It does not look like this is going to be much of an approach at all. There she blows. And another beautiful lake right there. Quartzite is pretty kind of cool rock too. A little slippery, but fractures in uh, more acute angles, making for some good holds. I guess the only thing left is a few cake steps and up to the red spot we go. I'll give you a little backstory on this. Um, I've been climbing all kinds of mountains in Colorado. 14ers, 13ers, even just some adventure routes, scrambling. Um, currently we are in the midst of a very bad fire season, as is most of the western half of the country. And the only place I could come up with that wasn't shrouded in smoke is right here. The Snowy Range Medicine Bow Forest in Wyoming. So uh, here I am checking it out. And I have been meaning to get up here. Um, I've looked at it a few times, reviewed the climbing, and it looks pretty friendly to me. I am actually surprised uh, how easy it looks. That doesn't mean it's going to be or that it'll get a little harder, a little higher up. Um, but that's the view of it, and uh, I'm pretty excited. The ratings are saying 5.5. Five. So uh, I am going to go ahead and test the water, and it'll just be testing water. I've got a rope in my bag. I don't plan on climbing anything I can't down climb, just in case it doesn't feel right. If I'm over my head, I am going to back off. So uh, here's hoping we see you at the top, though. I just finished pitch one, and you know, ratings are subjective, but I am not quite sure that was class five, even. Um, I went down just left of where it's really dirty and ugly, uh, kind of over here, but uh, pretty easy. There's my parking lot, and uh, I don't see this being too much trouble either. And the rock, it's got some loose stuff on the ledges, but. Uh, mostly, mostly very trustworthy um, for alpine climbing anyway. So that's nice. Yeah, this quartzite just seems like some tough stuff. All right, up, up, and away we go. Uh, this looks like the proper belay ledge for sure. I just found myself the uh, red spot here. So I know exactly where I am on the face. Um, boy, and this ramp system looks super friendly. I guess I could run away down that at any time, even in the rain. Um, yeah, because there have been some clouds coming. I can't see what's coming, but obviously right now it looks beautiful. I feel like I've got all kinds of different options. I could go up these parallel cracks here to the right or uh, lots of different stuff. So not too worried. Feeling good. Um, yeah, the world is my oyster and... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and crack it and slurp one down.
little more loose looking rock. I think I might be at the high ramp where I start a, a, a big traverse and, uh, and kind of push off the edge up here. I'm not totally positive of that. It's kind of hard to tell. But uh, one thing for sure is that I am way up here now. And I mean way up here. So that is definitely exciting. Big time. I'm gonna start my traverse. I'm not sure if the 360 camera's working or not. Um, gave me a little warning. So that's why I bust out the GoPro, but, but yeah, I think I just shimmy on up, up and over there and, and that will be an epic climb done. Ooh, everything is loose on this ledge. So it makes me kind of nervous, but uh, yeah, we'll see you at the top. It's an easy class four of this thing. Real easy with climbing shoes on. Ooh, something big fell out of there. Oh, this is great. Wow. So I've been climbing up this class four ramp here, center frame, beautiful lakes all around. Um, I'm probably about 800 feet up the, uh, up the face or so. I did also bring some gear, um, the rope, as I mentioned as well as a uh, a big piece of webbing in case i need to just tie some stuff off and wrap off for any reason weather nerves whatever um i don't think that's gonna happen though because that's the tierra firma right over there anyway it has been cool tomorrow i'm gonna hike it fly my drone all around so looking forward to that as well all right we'll see you at the top that solo was uh was great definitely not too difficult um I was a little nervous just because it was an on-site, never been there before. But there were lots of big ledge systems, as you can see, looking straight down. 
So uh, it just, it helped add a lot of security and uh, really reduce stress. The trail kind of disappears. Whoo! Steep. There we go. After a somewhat treacherous descent from the climb, I gazed across the highway and I could see this beautiful little alcove. I still had a little energy left, so I decided to go check it out, and I'm glad I did. It was an amazing little spot. The pond turned out to be just loaded with trout, so I moved in for a close-up, and after gazing into his eyes, I knew it was time to get home for dinner. That night it was a new moon, so it was super dark, and I was greeted with the most amazing views of the Milky Way. The next morning was no less spectacular as I set off bright and early to do the Medicine Bow Loop.
All right, blasting up the steeps. And I've been pleased. I guess here's a little saddle. And then we we'll probably go straight up to the left. morning drew to a close, you can see clearly in the video that a westerly wind was building in and carrying in more and more smoke as the day drew on. So I think we're at the summit now, the high point of the snowy range, and there's Plenty of celebrators. Well, I think I'm going to leave the trail here and go for the epic vistas. Because you can see they're pretty nice here. And I'm sure they'll be way nicer when I get up to the top there. Looks like a ancient structure. I think I remember something about there being a fire lookout up here. I'm guessing that's it because this took some work. They brought up uh, wood and concrete. So beautiful views too. Glad I went off the trail.
the weather has definitely taken a turn for the worst. But uh, thought I'd give you a quick peek at the descent. And away we go. I think I am gonna take a little shortcut right in the center of the frame where it kind of turns off and go around this close side of the lake. rock on out of here. It was really nice. It was much more developed than I expected, which was good and bad. Um, lots of crowds, but nice trails. Good amenities, like the one I'm walking on right now. Thought I'd give you one last look at the whole scene from right here. Feature now in the center of the frame is the diamond. Not the diamond I'm used to, but it was cool. Good climb for sure. I have a feeling I'll be back here again. The morning was exceptionally beautiful. Alright, so till next time. <laughs>